Hi, this is Lee from Sew Lily Bells. This is one of my sewing chats and it is a fabric haul. And here is the fabric I have been buying. Look at it. It's not like I don't have enough fabric already. I have a semi sizable stash on the go. <laughs> it takes up like a, um, a dresser in my uh, sewing room, but uh, you can't help it, can you? You cannot help that something takes your fancy and you decide to buy it or you think of a pattern that you really want to make and you don't have the right fabric for it and you think oh I could just get that so here we are this is my fabric haul and this has probably been since January so what's that four months and this is what I bought I bought a few other little bits and bobs that um I've already cut up or whatever um but this is the the main the bulk of what I bought in the last few months. So I went to the Stitch show in London with a friend of mine and we had a wonderful day. It was really amazing. I had a great time. It was brilliant. And I put a little bit of footage in of the Stitch show while I was there. While I order my fabrics. Um, it's quite hard to get to. It's across London and it's a train, two tubes and a walk for us to get there. It's an angel and it is at the business and design centre. So it's not the easiest. It would be far easier if they did it back at Olympia in Kensington. And I think the Olympia is bigger. So it would have been nice if it was a little bit bigger. It was very, very busy. We went on the Friday and I can't imagine what it would have been like on the Saturday or the Sunday but it was wonderful we had a great time and this is what I had bought so this is from Stitch Fabrics which is online um, but when you're at the show they go under the name of N Mosenberg and Sons and they're lovely if you see them I, I presume it's the father and the son that I saw when I was there because they are so funny to listen to as they're serving people and chatting to each other it is it's lovely it's really nice it's like an old married couple <laughs> but it's lovely and I bought three meters of this it was 10 pounds a meter and I am in love with it it's a viscous it's very flowy and soft super soft if I can find you some of the birds look at them that's a toucan and a parrot and there was quite a few fabrics that I loved on their stall but unfortunately their stall was one of the first ones I think it was like the second stall we stopped at and you know when you walk into these shows you're like I can't spend all my money on like the first few stalls I have to be able to see everything um but I fell in love with this and definitely had to have it and I was glad I did because when we went back later in the day it was gone um but it is beautiful I have no idea what I'm going to make with it normally I have something in mind but I don't really have anything in mind with this because it is, it's a very loud print. But I do have three metres. And I will decide at some point what I'm going to make for it. I want to make it before the summer because I definitely want to wear it this summer. It's probably not the best colour for me, but I don't care because I really, really fell in love with it. And there were some other ones that I fell in love with, but... Ah, well. Can't have it all. Um... And then there was another store. It did have some wovens, but the main fabrics that it had um, was Jersey fabrics, and they were ten pounds a meter as well. Um, I think it was called Montrose fabrics. I can't remember. I'll try and find the name and put it down here of what it was. Um, this is a viscous jersey, and it is black with large cream spots. And it is lovely. I am going to make a dress out of this with a big circle skirt. So all three of these ones that I bought uh, from the same store, which are viscose jerseys, I'm going to use the same pattern for. And they are going to be summer dresses. Um, so I'm hoping that the pattern suits them. I'm not going to cut them all out at the same time. I'm going to do one, make sure it's nice, and then I will do the rest. I don't really want to waste them by cutting them all out and something's not quite right with the pattern. Um, I'll put a picture in here of the pattern that I'm going to use. 
Um, it has lots of different options for skirts. Um, it is by Pattern Emporium and the great thing about them is that you can mix the bodices and shoulder, uh, shoulders, bodices and sleeves and skirts of the pattern between them. So I do have a few of their patterns and I can swap and change because they all line up correctly. So this is the second one that I bought. Again, it is, it's like a, is it periwinkle? It's like a purpley blue with a cream spot, but a much smaller cream spot this time. It's a viscous jersey. It's very flowy as well. And it's really nice. And then the last one, this is not me at all. This I, I never buy um, any animal print fabric. I don't know why, I just don't. But I saw this and I loved it. Look at that. It is beautiful. Again, it's, um, I think this is a viscous jersey, this is a cotton jersey. It's quite flowy though. And I really liked it. I think I'm going to do a black binding around the neck and the armholes for this one. And it's lovely. So that's that one. And then these ones I got from Fabricland. So me and the children, we popped it to Fabricland. Unfortunately, my closest Fabricland is shutting, well, it's shut now. Um, so I did get, I think it was 20% off these fabrics because they were closing down. Um, my closest one now is an hour and 15 minutes away, maybe an hour and 20 minutes away, which is annoying. They they are closing a lot of their stores down. There used to be one in the next town along for me and that closed years ago. That closed about 15 years ago. And then um, the one in Reading, um, which still is quite a journey for me, um, that has just closed last month. I think they closed the one in Salisbury last year. So now it's Southampton or Bristol. Um, which is a bit annoying. I know they do have online, but it's never it's never the same um, when you shop online. And their delivery is quite expensive. Um, and I do prefer just to go into their shops and have a look. But it means that I now have to travel to Bristol. But never mind. I do wish, because they shut them and they say, whenever you ask why they shut them, they say it's because the rent has gone up and they can't meet the costs. But you'd hope that they would find another cheaper ver uh, cheaper letting or shop or whatever that they could reopen. Because the one in Reading was always busy. Whenever you went in there, it was rammed. Um, but I think it's the way the times and everything is, is going online, whether we want it to be on or not. But never mind. Anyway, back to this. So, I got this one. This is just a really lightweight jersey. Um, again, I've bought it for a dress. My daughter wants a dress out of this one. Which is strange, because of the two that I bought, I thought she wanted the other one. But in the end, she wanted this one. So I'll just make her a nice summer dress out of that one. And then this one, which is what I originally bought for my daughter, which has pink zebras on it. I am, um, because my daughter doesn't want it, I am going to make some pyjama bottoms out of it. It is just a cotton jersey. And it will look nice and I'm going to put a bright pink drawstring on it. So that's that. And then my last ones, oh, I've just noticed that I forgot to show you some from the show, but I'll show you in a minute. We'll do this one first. So I wanted to never make another Vogue 8577 which I'll put here but it takes a lot of fabric it takes five meters and then if you want to line it it's another five meters which 10 meters of fabric is a lot um, and the last one that I made I wanted it longer um, because I quite if I'm gonna have a full length dress I want it to be full length I don't want it to be stuffing just above the ankle so I've bought six meters and I will line the bodice but I doubt I will line the dress or I try not to have to line the dress. Um, so this was from Pound Fabrics. It was two pounds fifty a meter, so unbelievably reasonable, and it is good quality for two pounds fifty a meter. I have paid 
eight pounds a meter and had worse quality than this um so it is an amazing deal here it is it's very summery i like it it drapes really well it feels good and it has the gold fleck can you see the gold shimmering through it these little gold dabs so i don't know how well it will wash but i'm hoping it'll be okay on the website they have reviews and people have said that it does wash fine and the gold doesn't come out so that's that i really liked that one and this one again i think it's going to be another 8577 because i like that dress at the moment um this was three pounds 75 a meter and i'm going to do it with yellow poppers down the front so a bit like this so you see my yellow buttons here I'm going to do it with yellow poppers because it has something like 19 buttons on that dress. There we go. I really like it. They had this in four different colourways and I would have liked all four. When this arrived I was a bit... I did have a moment of maybe I should have bought the other colourway. Um, but I do like it. Yeah, I still like it. I do like it. And when I make it into a dress I think it will be lovely. I think in the flat form it's not as pretty as it is, will be when it's, it's constructed. So that's that one. And what is really interesting, so I paid £3.75 a metre from Pound Fabrics for this. Pound Fabrics delivery is a little bit expensive, I think it was £5 for the delivery. Um, but you know, cheap fabric, well not cheap, inexpensive fabric, cheap fabric makes it sound bad inexpensive fabric to make a dress that requires an awful lot of fabric um, is fine for a five pounds of delivery um, but what is interesting is the purple colorway of this is on the Minerva website for six pounds fifty a meter so if you do like it head over to the pound fabrics website because it's only three pounds seventy five a meter on their website and that's that one um, so the two that I missed from the stitching show, so these were remnants, I think it's Higgs and Higgs, I think it was Higgs and Higgs, I'll put down here if it wasn't Higgs and Higgs, but they had these massive remnant baskets and they were all across um, the wall and pretty much you would dig and dig and dig and dig into these um, massive remnant baskets. Uh, me and my friend, it was coming towards the end of the day and it had been really, really busy at these baskets all day, people digging through. And we decided that because it had calmed down, we'd go and have another quick look. And I picked up this one. So it is just a nice cotton. Um, and I, as you can see, I've already cut out to make a top and this is all I have left. It was a very small piece. I am making a short sleeved, uh, not short sleeved, a, she, uh, a sleeveless Rhapsody uh, top. I've almost finished it, so I will be doing a video um, reviewing the, um, is it Love Notions Rhapsody? I think it is the Love Notions Rhapsody top. Yes, it is. Yes, um, because I have now made one two three four i've made four and i've got another two cut out so once i've sewn the other two that are cut out i will show you all six and do a pattern review because it is an amazing pattern and then i also got this one this one's quite famous this is a lady macquarie fabric i've got it on the cut cut the oh, cotton lawn base and i can't remember what it's called but I was watching Shan from Kittenish Behaviour the other day and she said this is now available on the Visco space as well. But as you can see, I don't have much left of it. So both of these were small amounts. So this one I only had 80 centimetres of. I think it cost me four or five pounds for the 80 centimetres. And then this one I had a metre and I think it might have cost me about eight pounds, which is a bargain for Lady McElroy. I think it's Lady McElroy. 
and that's that. And again, I have cut a Vapsi out of that. That is my top for go to, not very much fabric, let's make a Vapsi. <laughs> so if you can make a sleeveless Vapsi from 80 centimetres, I think it's, it's great. Um, this, this one I have put three quarter length sleeves on because I had just a little bit more. And that's it. That is my fabric haul and some of my sewing plans. A lot of my plans are for the summer because I do prefer to make clothes for the summer. Um, I am wearing um, a summer's dress at the moment. I've just got my thick tights on and my cardigan to keep me warm. So this is the now and then Hepburn shirt dress. So it's supposed to have sleeves, but I took the sleeves off because the sleeves, I don't know, they, I did a full bicep adjustment to the sleeves, so they did fit and I could move around, but just putting the cardigan on and off was a bit annoying. So I removed the sleeves and just made it into a sleeveless one. And then I've got all of these nice little yellow buttons going all the way down and it has pockets as well. Um, so I decided that I wanted to put a summer's dress on today. And that is that. Anyway, I'm going to head off. Um, I will put the links down below if you're interested in any of the fabrics that I have bought. And I hope you are well and have a good sewing week. So take care. See you soon. Bye bye.